ladies and welcome back to Still Looking Good 58. I am Faith and today I have a what I might consider a winter wig for you because it has bangs and it's yakky. This is the Sensationelle Dashley Unit 6 and I have her in a number 4. She comes in a number of colors but I was interested in this one because she's a ready to wear and you don't have to do a whole lot to it. So let me show you what she looks like. This is she. Nice yakky texture. She's a little bumped on the ends. She's uh, feathered and again she has bangs. So I'm just going to throw her on my head. She only has two combs in the front, a comb in the back and adjustable strap. She doesn't have any kind of a elastic band or anything. You know just your typical throw on and go wig. I'm just going to adjust the tabs. So here she is. I'm going to pull her back a little bit because the bangs are long. Now of course you can always trim these however you want them to go. But yeah, sometimes I just pull it back a little bit so that I don't have to cut them. But okay, so this is a first look at, uh, well not first look because she's not a new wig, but this is my first look at her because I've not tried her on before. Let me back up a little bit and I'll just put her all in the back so you can see her. Yep. I like that she's yakky. You know if you want a wig that's natural this one's really natural. So there's no lace to cut. You know there's nothing to glue down. You just have her on your head and that's what I like about her because this wig is a wig that I'll probably be wearing to work as it gets colder, especially since my hair hasn't grown out yet, I'll probably be wearing this and some others. Um, but this is a really easy style, a really easy throw on and go style that you can wear every day. So the reason I am reviewing this particular wig is because I also wanted to introduce you guys to my fall headbands. I have a whole bunch of them. Um, this is a peach headband that I am featuring on my website. I'm calling it Peachy King. This is one that's been around for a while except I made it a shorter, what I'm calling skinny headband because sometimes, especially if you wear a wig like this, you may not necessarily want a headband that's really wide. You may want one that's a smaller width like this one. So I made another one like that, which is this cheetah print. And this cheetah print is the one I'm going to put on. And like I said, the thinner ones I think work better with hair like this. I mean if you want to put a thicker one on you can, but um, what I would do is I would just take the hair on both sides and I just stick it behind my ear. You know, and you can even ponytail this if you like. And then I'm just going to put this headband on my head. Just stick the twisted part right on top of where this hole is. Well not hole but you know the little center part of the wig. Then just pull my ears out and there it is. And again I like this width for um, wigs that have bangs specifically. And then of course you can always bring the hair up front if you want to as opposed to keeping it all behind your ear. And I just think it just makes a really cute look you can uh, mix and match these because there's all kinds of um, styles and materials and patterns that I have. I have a wider one in this cheetah and you guys know that I made a couple of these summer ones that are still hanging on like this Kenty cloth one and this is not cotton just so you guys know none of my headbands are cotton. This is a very soft polyester spandex. And again, the reason I do that when I make these headbands is because I want to protect your edges and cotton is really not good. So if you have a headband that's cotton, you need to get rid of it because cotton is really not good for your edges. And here's another one that I still have in my uh, collection. That's uh, again, it's, it's a really soft one. I also have, as you guys know, uh, different types of HBCU headbands. I still have some of these AKA headbands which are really cute and I have some um, FAMU headbands as well as I'm actually making some Delta headbands. I have a few Delta headbands that I had left over that I'm going to make 
and I also have Spelman, which is this blue. So this baby blue one can also be a Spelman headband because this is Spelman's colors. And again, I also have, um, I believe it's um, Bethune Cookman, which is a gold and red. So, and this Calypso one is one of my last uh, summer headbands as well. If you live in North Carolina like I do, sometimes you have what's called Indian summer. And that means it's gonna be warmer in October and November than normal, and so you might still want one of these um, light summer headbands to put on. So that's my Calypso headband. And I'm making a lot more solids this year because you guys have been asking me about solids. So here is, um, I think this one is called Ocean Blue or Blue Sky or something I called it, this blue one. I have this olive one, and I'm showing you these because I really want you to see the true color. Sometimes when I take pictures and I put them on my site, the camera doesn't always show me the true color. So I've been, I moved from a brown to a white background because of that, because I wanted you guys to see more of the true color. So these are the true colors of these headbands that I'm showing you. Here's my crimson headband. You can still wear this for Alabama, if you're an Alabama fan. And then here's another short one, skinny one as I call them, and this is called Emerald City. And I have this in a wide version as well. And I have this beige one as well, and I have this, it's called Cream of the Crop, and I also have a thin version of this one. So besides these headbands, I'm gonna be coming out with a bunch of others. I have dark brown, I have a chocolate brown coming. You guys already know I have a pink one. Um, I've got uh, a sienna color, which is sort of a rust color. I have two different levels of a rust color that's coming. And uh, just uh, a few more prints and things, some orange crush. I got more orange crush coming. So I just wanted you guys to know that I am going to be building up my uh, inventory over the next month or so. Um, and I'm also going to be bringing you, again, more prints. And one of the additional prints that I'm going to be bringing you is similar to this cheetah, but it's a leopard. So I'm going to be bringing you a leopard print that's a little bit lighter and black. It's a little lighter brown and black other than this cheetah. So that's basically what I wanted to share with you guys today. I wanted you to know that, yes, my headbands are up. They're available. And, oh, I had one other thing I forgot to tell you. I am offering a gift box this year for people who want to send three headbands to someone uh, as a gift. So I have a, a pink gift box that I will be putting three headbands in and I'll have a little sticker on the outside that has my logo and it will say a gift for you. So if you want to send headbands as a gift to someone, on my website I'm going to put up gift boxes probably starting in November. I'm gonna put up gift boxes so that you guys can send gifts to people and again, uh, three headbands fit in that box. So I will be offering that as an option for you so that you can gift someone some headbands. So again, this wig is Dashley Unit 6, and she's in the color 4, and she is a yakky wig with bangs. And again, with the winter time coming, this is a really great throw on and go for those of you who may want to cover up your neck you know, with this cold weather. That's the best part about wearing a wig like this is you just cover up your neck because you're, you're cold, you go outside. If you don't have a collared coat or jacket, you can do that. <laughs> so anyway, ladies, thank you so much for watching. And if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. But also follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and TikTok because I'm going to be doing a lot more in the next few months on those three platforms. So yeah, you'll want to be following me on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. And I am still looking good 58 on all three of those platforms, okay? So you just look me up. Again, thank you so much for watching, ladies. And as I always say, if you're gonna show love to anyone today, please show it to the creator. I'm still looking good, and of course, so are you. See you next time.